a KQED television production. Right now, I am hungry. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by Redwood Credit Union, community banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Business and personal, online and mobile, plus nationwide ATMs. Banking for people who call this place home. Sutter Health CPMC, the new Mission Bernal Hospital, opens August 2018 with all private rooms and comprehensive maternity services. CPMC2020.org. Total Wine and More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine and More, now with seven Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. IRG has thousands of surfaces in stock now. Surfaces. Selection. Service. IRG at MarbleCompany.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Lisa Bracco, welcome to Check Please Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This time, however, we have a very special show with three San Francisco celebrities. Yay! Woo! Where? <laughs> <laughs> chef, restaurant owner, radio host, and top chef contestant, Ryan Scott is a very busy man. He left Los Banos to join the California Culinary Academy, and it's been about food ever since. Even his beautiful baby's name is Olive. Auntie's at the table. Yes. There we go. And recording artist and entertainer, B.B. Sweetbriar, has a special name, one she created by combining the name of her first pet along with the name of her first street she lived on. Wow, what a sweet little combination. But first, activist, fundraiser, and public speaker, Sister Roma, is one of the sisters of perpetual indulgence. This order of queer nuns is devoted to community service, delivered with humor and irreverent wit. But there's nothing irreverent about her old school Italian joint on Folsom in San Francisco. Her pick is called Rocco's Cafe. <laughs> Rocco's Cafe is exactly what the walls are. It is San Francisco, it is Italian, it is American, it is an old school restaurant. My name is Don Dial, I am the owner and chef of Rocco's Cafe in San Francisco. The food's been in my family forever. And we've had restaurants, you know, since the 1930s. My grandfather had a restaurant, my uncle had a restaurant, my aunt had a restaurant. Rocco's Fine Foods was my grandfather's restaurant. So I opened up Rocco's Cafe in his honor. Some things are just in your blood, and this was in my blood. My blood's like tomato sauce. I have a big personality, and I have an open kitchen. I don't really have to move from the kitchen to see every seat in the restaurant. I really enjoyed handing them the food and actually talking to the people. The food's steaming right off the plate. You come here, you eat, and you get a facial. I mean, that's the whole idea. We're not trying to be something that we're not. We just do it the way we do it. Is it right? I don't know. It's the way we do it, and it's consistent. We're going to talk first about Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Oh, great. Yes, because you particularly are so involved in community service along with all of the other sisters. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the sisters actually started right here in San Francisco 49 years ago. We'll be celebrating our 49th year on Easter Sunday you at Golden Gate. You don't look a day Gate. over 40. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I have, and actually, I've been a sister for 30 years. No. Wow. I have. So it's been quite an amazing journey. And there really isn't a place like San Francisco where this type of thing could begin. But now we have orders all over the world on four continents. And we do community service and activism mm -hmm. and fundraising and entertaining. And I'm a writer and all sorts of wonderful things. 
and now we're going to talk about your restaurant, Rocco's. Oh, I just love Rocco's so much. It's Why? just because it's one of those places that you walk in and you feel immediately at home. Mm -hmm. First of all, the decor is just, there's so much to look at. There's all the pictures, all the, yeah, pictures, all the, pictures, the frames, the everything. mirrors, the people, yeah. there's celebrities mm -hmm. that have been there, mm -hmm. and just local mm -hmm. customers. They love their customers. <laughs> and they're so friendly. And the thing that I like to do is take people who live here who've never been, and they're like, how did I not know right. about right. this yeah. place? Yeah. Well, I think we forget, too, because it's in the middle of the, where so all the new stuff is happening, right. Right. and yet this place has been there for so long, it's kind of, you get the taste of the old. I hope it never goes away. Right, right. Yeah. 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 I just get that old school Italian. Yeah. And this is the third generation. Chef right. Don. Chef his Don is my jam. I love yeah. him. He's so <coughs> friendly. He's well. No, you know I'm a chef groupie, Ryan. <laughs> Don't get jealous. Don't, you're my number I, one. Of my that's favorite. That's right. But of Chef Don could be just maybe that's number two. And Rocco could be named after his dad. Right. Right. Grandfather. Right. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. This is a family that affair. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. And there's also an open kitchen, so even if you go alone, you can have a great time right. because you can watch him doing everything, and it's all fresh. Is there a dish you crave? Well, I like to go for breakfast usually. Oh. So I like the uh, Rocco's favorite frittata, okay. which is fluffy eggs and cheese and tomato and onion and giant chunks of like sausage that are real spicy like and your jewelry. fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I like big I'm not, I don't want to get hit by her. Uh, no, oh, I got the memo. Nobody gave me the memo. I got a wedding ring. Ryan's missing his jewelry. I please have some That's bling? That's a big meatball right there on that. <laughs> All we need is some spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, spaghetti was delish. Oh. Okay. I love a place that you can get eggs all day. Mm -hmm. But you can also get spaghetti in the morning, you can get a hamburger in the afternoon. But when I sat down, this reminded me of my hometown. Started with side of meatballs. It was amazing. Caesar salad, I love you. Little on the sweet side, oh, but it was good. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, out of all the things that I ordered, that burger, the house ground burger, you would tell me a place that makes homemade pasta, does the, everything that Rocco's does, and the burger with the blue cheese on the sourdough bread that yeah. screams San Francisco. Amazing. Yeah. Hey, look, a $16 burger in San Francisco right now is right. like a four bedroom house for 400000 You can't <laughs> find it. It doesn't <laughs> exist. And I ate it. The fries were salty and delicious. The server came up and asked multiple times, how was your meal? That's all I want. I want comfort. I want somebody to ask how I'm doing, yeah. and I want food that somebody stands by. And that's by. what this place is about. All the way. It's All about the way. comfort. What did you have when you were there? I went with chicken marsala, and I love anything where I can take my sourdough bread and dip it in there. Yeah. The sauce, it covered the entire plate. Right. And the mushrooms were fresh, and they were mm. so, so good. And I started my meal off with a Sierra beer. And I love because <laughs> they serve it in the small, traditional, like Italian glasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I totally enjoyed it. The flavors of that marsala were excellent. That I can't is even such tell a comfort. I wanted to roll my eyes yeah. back, yeah. like, yeah. you know, that it was that, that <laughs> good. By, by the way, can I just say this? This is a bucket list for me, we're and this cheese is real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. However, <laughs> that is fake. They're not Another supposed story. to know that. They're not supposed to know that. Now the Bring prop. Bring back. I knew he going to be all over I know, it's time. time. <laughs> but let me say this. The chicken piccata, I would go back 100,000 times for. Mm -hmm. They brought it out. There was so much sauce. To where you take a soup spoon mm. yeah. and you drink it up, right. perfectly cooked. Right. It was chicken breast that was pounded up. And perfectly. you can taste the chicken in it. Yeah, it's not yes. smothered yeah. by the and other. It's not flavors. too right. seared, Delicious. by the way. The chefs, two guys in the kitchen in a packed restaurant. My favorite part is they ring the bell every time the food's done. Yeah. There's something about that homey comfort that Rocco's is all about. I love it. I left my heart in San Francisco, right? Being right. Well, and, and they have that sign, that, yeah. that Mayor Aliotto sign above the door. Right. So you almost feel like this has been anointed. This is the right. place to be. I <laughs> yeah. really felt that. What else do you get? When well, I'm you know I'm a big meat eater, and they make a delicious pork loin, garlic pork loin, that is fall off the bone, melts in your mouth perfection. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, they make amazing crab cakes. That is, they, yeah. Weren't they delicious? Yeah. They're so light and fluffy, but you can totally taste the crab. It feels like they just took it right out of the bay. And what about <laughs> the rest of the clientele there? I mean, is it locals who are coming there? It's not tourists. I noticed that when we went in, there was suits. There was people rushing. Muni was stopping and office workers around the corner. And I watched the tables. Some got breakfast, some got lunch, some got yeah. spaghetti. These places don't exist anymore. Yeah. You really. That's you, a crazy you, kitchen. You, and they're crushing it. Yeah. They're and crushing they it. do not bet an eyelash if a, if a drag queen or a leather man walks in yeah. because they are right in the heart of Folsom and that is That's one true. of our districts. The customer service was really good, but I'd have to say that I didn't feel like it was special. Mm -hmm. It was it was definitely good. It just wasn't exceptional. And talk about prices. Is this good value? Oh, great value, I think. Mm -hmm. This this place. I'm, I'm sold. Thank you. Wonderful. I've been here 16 it. years, and I never knew it was there, and See, thanks to you. See, that's the kind yeah. of reaction I like. Right. So this is your spot. Wrap it up for us. So if you're looking for a place to go to bring people who are in town or even from out of town and you want them to have a wonderful meal with friendly service, go to Rocco's. Okay, and Ryan? I'm sold.
Done. I'll go back many, many times. And the chicken piccata is really doggone good. All right, Beauty. Um, I love it. I love the fact that they use really great sauces, and the sauce is good for the rest of your meal, dipping with your bread, that sourdough bread. Go. Straw needed. <laughs> if you would like to go to Rocco's Cafe, it's on Folsom Street at 7th in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-554-0522. It's open every day for breakfast and lunch, dinner Tuesday through Saturday. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30. You can define Ryan's place as straightforward and simple with a touch of smoke. A place to sit alone or party with a crowd. And with a different special every weeknight, planning is easy. On Scott and the Marina in San Francisco, it's called Maybex. <laughs> so or two peas in a pod, really. I'm Aaron Tensing. And this is Eric Lowe. And we are the chef owners of Maybex Restaurant. We've basically forced ourselves to become friends. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we have yeah. no choice. We get along really well, actually. Uh, there's times when we butt heads, but. Yeah, we finish um, each other's um, uh, sandwiches. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times. We do actually. More food. sandwiches than sentences, really. A lot of the food is based on classic American dishes. One dish that's close to my heart is our chopped salad. Very simple, classic, and it's served in a Pyrex bowl from the 50s that my mom found on eBay. My mom says, oh my God, you have to have those bowls. So she went online and bought every one that was available out there. A chopped salad, you see it across the room, you say, hey, what's that? And then you order it because you want that cool bowl, but there's something good inside it too. Yeah. Yeah. It's really about the neighborhood. The people in the neighborhood are really supportive. When I leave a restaurant, I don't know, that, that satisfaction that yeah. you feel. It's a personal experience. Yeah, Eric and I are on the floor yeah, we, a lot. We take a lot of pride in knowing our guests and treating them well, and that's why they come back. Yeah, people yeah. go back to restaurants because of how they were treated. So. Let's talk about Maybex because this is a cool spot. It is such a cool spot. Look, here's the thing in San Francisco. To open a restaurant's hard yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. To open one on Lombard Street's hard enough. Two guys, Eric and Aaron. Yeah. When you have a place where chefs run the food, bust the tables, mm -hmm. make the pasta, they're a pastry chef, they're a host. Yep. They come you out and talk to you. Bro, they, they sure were did. Yeah, they're sure. so I, friendly. Everybody was, like, was really I, friendly. I, yes! I, know, I, I, was so, no, I was so I nervous. No. I sent two of you to the marina. When is the last time you No, when is the last time you in the marina? Well, no, look, it was not my crowd. It definitely right. felt very marina. It was, right. 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 however, yeah. the staff was my people. Oh, yeah. I saw yeah. people I identified with on every level there. And of course, people were very friendly in the tables around us, too. I went with three friends and we were loud. It was Friday night. It was it was on jam. It but was just like a lot. It's that New York loud. Right. That, yeah, like you know, that. I felt almost like I was walking onto a movie set because you know how the lights well, they had are. The and yeah, above. And it was lovely. busy because it was their beef Wellington night. When oh, I went on a Wednesday. That's what okay. I want to go back. But for. I did. Oh. But I didn't have beef Wellington. But what? I, they have a carving party. Know, you go at seven and they do a carving party. All right. So thank you for making the trek back to the kitchen. We just decided to do beef Wellington once a week. Uh, we played around with it and got it to a version that we really liked and people started to ask if they could come back to the kitchen and see us slice it so we decided to just start inviting the whole dining room back to the kitchen. We call this the ceremonial slicing and hopefully like I said we have a nice ring of duck cell here and we do so there we go. I was glad that we dressed up a little bit. I was glad I invited the people I did because yeah. they cook and they like food as much as I do. Good. And they're very adventurous. You don't cook. So what did you... <laughs> no, they like eats. food like you I said do. They cook. <laughs> they cook and they like cuisine. food. That does not count. <laughs> yeah. I am a have a way. You know I'm good with she's the microwave. Yeah, she's a meatball called 30 cook. seconds. Said, I've had meatballs and peanut butter for dinner. I will be single for the rest of my life. <laughs> and Ryan was like, I texted me. He goes, I'll cook for you. <laughs> I'll take care of you, Auntie. I'll go, I'll go out to dinner I with you discovered that mm -hmm. I like octopus. Oh! So delicious. Mm -hmm. Cooked to perfection, and then you take it with their special sauce and then a little chunk of potato and eat it all in one bite and the flavor just explodes in your mouth. It is the perfect bite. Yeah. I, I there are like so many things I could say to oh, that. Did you have the garlic bread, though? 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. stop. Yeah, Roadblock. Yeah. Roadblock to heaven. No, we ordered it twice. You had a loaf and then you ordered another we loaf. We did because it was so delicious. Yeah. We ordered it with our appetizers and then yeah. we were like, we need some for dinner. Mm. Ah, so it's no hot, coffee. of course. Yeah. It's wrapped up like a little baby. Wrapped, like swaddled. swaddled. It was literally swaddled. <laughs> so it was dripping in the olive oil and then the fresh chopped garlic on top. Generous amount. The cool thing about it is people don't know this. You go to the bar, they have fried pickles. They have a chicken sandwich at the bar. The Wellington won me over, yeah. but I think the chefs won me over. They make all the desserts. They make their bread. I mean, oh, I, that I, chocolate, yeah, the chocolate. Oh, oh, my wait, God. Oh, wait, dessert. Hold off on uh, dessert, oh. girls, because I want to talk about the pork. Oh. oh. The pork was amazing. Let's talk meat. And it had a grilled apple mm -hmm. on top. And mm -hmm. the flavors of that smoke and sweet mm -hmm. and the pork chop was not dry. Mm -hmm. The potato, mm -hmm. which uh, had kind of a curry, kind of almost like a masala. Mm. Really? Uh, it was, yeah. Masala. Voodavon. Voodavon. Just go with it. I had no idea. It's not your hair by the way. talking about? No. It was really. Vodavon. Vodavon. Thank you. You're welcome. I love how you know that, Les. Um, <laughs> chef, it was very yeah. good. Well, we had the spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, you did. Which were delicious. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can you really can't screw up spaghetti and meatballs? But Rocco, yeah. you go from Rocco's to this. Yeah, yeah. it was pretty good. Pretty I mean, good. it wasn't the best spaghetti and meatballs I've ever had. Yeah. The thing that really knocked our socks off was the wild flounder, the fish and chips. Wow. And you know, usually when you get fish and chips, at least in my experience, it's like three or four little pieces. Mm -hmm. It's right. one giant piece of right. delicious white flaky wow. fish. I mentioned earlier, I'm not a huge seafood fan, but that fish was. But you the are now perfect. an octopus lover I and a flounder. I guess I am. Yeah. I was and they have a romulad that you dip it in right. with tartar sauce that was Homemade just tartar sauce. So good. But here's the thing. Eric and Aaron know the fishermen that dropped that fish off. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about the wine list because I was super impressed. I mean, it's two pages, affordable wines, really eclectic, right. delicious, and I was impressed with, with the wine. I mean, I when I looked at that wine list, I mean, we mm -hmm. wanted to invite more people just to share, just to try because yeah. it was affordable. Yeah. That's what's cool. One person at the bar can have a glass of wine, a bottle of wine, Phoebe. Don't Phoebe. look at her uh, or me. <laughs> Leslie. So you two are there next week. Uh, and a pasta, and then have a little spumoni. You were taken back to Italy, but in San Francisco. Yeah. And we did Scott have the spumoni. Yeah. What'd we you had think? the chocolate lava cake, the spumoni, and the almond pound cake. You had every oh. dessert. Oh, yeah, we did. Well, the homemade gelato is so delicious. And I think I really liked was the pistachio. Yeah. Uh -huh. This but had giant it? chunks of nuts, right. in it, and the mm -hmm. flavors were so oh. good. And then the chocolate cherry and the vanilla. It all just came together. Right. And that pound cake is dense and very almondy dense. with the yes. little crisps on the Powdered side. sugar yeah. on top, fantastic. I had the chocolate. The chocolate was to die for. Oh. Uh, I yeah. took one bite of it and I just like closed my eyes and just went, I picture people are looking, yeah. what, are, what is he doing? Are you going to say on? You almost sang there. You almost sang I almost sang You saw that, right? Well, don't worry. Sang. I'm going to yep. get her to I, sing. Don't I, you I, worry. I, I, I almost saw that. I could go back just for dessert, really. Yeah. Well, it you was, can. Yeah. You could go back, great. sit at the bar, have right? a glass of wine. Just That's great. Yeah. Right. All right, your spot. Wrap it up for us, Ryan. Hey, chef owners, they get it, understand it, and great food, great pasta, great desserts, great meat, everything. Go there. All right, baby. Walk in immediately. You feel special. Great from the beginning to the end. The food is to die for. Go back. Hey, in Roma. Perfect for a special occasion. Everything is delicious and wonderful wait staff. Going back. All right. If you would like to try Maybex, it's on Scott Street at Lombard in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-400-8500. It's open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday with lunch on Saturday. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $50. Punch. I remember sneaking sips from my parents' Christmas party bar as a kid. Whether made with added alcohol or not, at the time, Punch's reputation as the drink of the day was starting to decline. But Punch is back. <laughs> the word comes from a Sanskrit term meaning five, as the original Punches had five ingredients with alcohol, water, spice, and sweet and sour flavors from sugar to citrus. Hailing from India in the 1600s, when British sailors concocted or adopted this group-worthy cocktail, punch made its way across the globe and became a staple in British pubs and pre-revolutionary American watering holes. Cultures from across the world have their own versions, but in my signature blend, I use a little rum, a lot of fruit, something fizzy, and um, did I say rum? Yeah, it packs a punch. <sighs> Cheers. up with family connections from New Orleans to Baton Rouge, which cemented a love for all things Creole. And her spot excels in those flavors while mixing it up a bit. On Polk in San Francisco, it's called Brenda's French Soul Food. When 
A person comes to Brenda's, we want to make sure we're feeding their darkest, deepest, most satisfied cravings that they have. French soul food to me is basically Creole food that I grew up with. It's French inspired, earthy, rich, it's spicy. I'm Brenda Buenviaje, I'm the chef owner of Brenda's French Soul Food. And I'm Libby Truesdell, I'm also the co-owner of Brenda's French Soul Food. Since we've opened, I've employed my beignet machine, also known as Luis. <laughs> he makes about 100 beignets an hour, and he's here for eight hours a day, so you do the math. <laughs> A lot of beignets. <laughs> the building that we're in is a, over 100 years old that survived the San Francisco earthquake. When we finished the remodel, we exposed this gorgeous brick wall, this crack from the 1906 earthquake. One of the most satisfying things is to have our regulars come back again and again and say, this is my favorite dish because it reminds me of when I was young. I'll have people stop me on the street and you can see the actual love in their eyes and I've actually like invoked something from deep within this complete stranger who just is moved by something that I fed them. Okay, BB. You have an amazing oh, wow. talent. Oh, thank you. Can you, you. Can you give us a little? A, a, well, I'll give you something hit. I think will lead into the restaurant. Excellent. How's that? Okay. I love that. When I think of home, I think of a place where there's love overflowing. Uh. I wish I was home. I wish I was back there with the things I have been knowing. That's Yay! my favorite song. That you gives me goosebumps. I love you. I love Look you. at that. Encore, really encore. Long. So Brenda's reminds you of home. I grew up in a household where food was more than just a thing to nourish our bodies. It was really uh, something to make us feel good. And so that's what I think about when I want to have a food experience. And I think Brenda's definitely does that. Well, when I first walked in here, I felt from, you've been to New Orleans many like times. Many like places. it was a restaurant in New Absolutely. Orleans. It's very yeah. simple. But the well decor is right. well yeah. done. Yeah. Well I done. mean, if it was 120 degrees, I would have thought I was in New Orleans. Right, exactly. <laughs> the diners, too, it was such a perfect cross section of San Francisco. I mean, right. you see everybody there. Mm -hmm. And it's so affordable. I started with the black walnut iced coffee with whipped cream. Ah. Mm. But to start off with that? Yes, oh. you know I'm a coffee freak, so if you have a good coffee, I'm all, uh, coffee, I'm all in. Coffee, eggs, pancakes, peanut butter. We're, we're learning. <laughs> we're learning. That's it. I think she's from the Did you know that the cheese is real? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh but, but the bread is fake. So that oh was, I had to try that. <laughs> but I had the pork belly oh. with grits mm -hmm. and cheesy, oh, and a poached egg. Oh, the pork belly yeah. was thick and crispy, but then you got that that fat. I mean, fat is where the flavor is at. Oh, yeah. So that's what pork belly is all <laughs> fat about. Fat is back. Wow. And I had forgotten what I ordered, to be honest. So when it came, it was in this giant three inch like deep plate, yeah. and it was just covered in cheese. And I thought, did I order Mexican? What is this? Because <laughs> it looked like sour cream. And then I, I poked in it, and then the egg just fell open, and the oh. yolk joined the cheese and the grits. Was and this I brunch or dinner? I went for brunch. Oh, wow. Yeah. What about the biscuits? Oh, that biscuit is ridiculous. <laughs> it's the as size big of it. as the, yeah, it really is. It is. It is. And it's the just, it template. is so fluffy and flaky and buttery, and it's all got peaks and valleys, and it was so good. And the fried chicken. Oh. Okay, yeah, B I'm going to ask you. The BFC. Uh-huh. Right. Brenda's fried chicken mm -hmm. is a BFC. I didn't even get it because I went through everything else. Right. Do I have to go back just for you that? Do you do have to go back really? for that. And what makes it the best? I don't even know because it's a special recipe, recipe, so we don't oh, know. Oh, no, it's a secret. It almost feels like there's know. a caramelization of maybe a maple fry. Yeah, there's a different there, spice in there. That's what keeps the juice in. It has to be something. Yeah. You know, what, what, right. what would do that? Uh, a place that has fried chicken as a side must be really good at fried yeah. chicken. Yeah. When mm -hmm. your biscuit stands alone, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I asked to take two home, and I gave my wife a brown bag. <laughs> I ate both of them. <laughs> Literally. Here, oh, honey, I love no, you. No, no. Look, if you're ever going to cheat, <laughs> cheat at Brenda's. When calories don't count, right. go to town. Yeah. It's like I was just in the corner, just like num, num, num. I love from the beginning to the end. I love how the service at the front door are attentive. Mm -hmm. But Absolutely. here's here, I'll be the girl at the table. 
Um, I ordered the salad. Thank you. I ordered the salad. You I did. got the deep fried brie with the buttermilk I've dressing and the, the crispy salad. shallots. Mm -hmm. And then the sweet potato dumplings. Mm -hmm. I thought she's not going to, that's fine. She's going to serve me some wonton thing that's going to look <laughs> like all weird. No, she killed it. Right. And I got the cobbler, and there's cobbler of the night. Mm -hmm. And it was apple and blueberry. Love the biscuit again. I had the biscuit was on top. Mm -hmm. So I had the biscuit again. The ice cream was amazing. But it seemed like somebody turned their head and they put too much cinnamon in it. Mm -hmm. It's a simple mistake. Uh, I get it. Yeah. But I, I, it, look, dessert's not going to stop me from going back there. The last time I went there, I had their sampler beneath as my dessert. So you get all three of mm -hmm. the, you know, the traditional one with just the powdered sugar on, right. on it. And then the other one is a chocolate filled. And then the one I love the best is the Granny Smith's apple. Right. And it was like really having apple pie just rolled up. Mm. But I, I devoured all three of those. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. It did remind me of being in New Orleans and mm -hmm. being back in the French Quarter. And that's mm -hmm. what I love about trying the different restaurants here in San Francisco mm -hmm. is because it kind of transports you from here to wherever. That's why I like Maybex is because I felt I wasn't here in the marina. I felt I was in New York. I think you're yeah, right. right. I think there's there's a synergy between all three of our places. Is there's yeah. chef owners. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. there and there's a lot of heart. Yeah. I mean, how lucky are we to live here to have these great places to go? We are so lucky. We really are. A toast to that. I'll yes. tell you yes. right there. A toast to that. How come you don't have much in your Because Ryan, Ryan, Ryan spilled it. By the way, it's real. By the way, the cheese is real and the <laughs> champagne is real. I'm just trying to figure that out. I'm the only person who got a refill on this show. Three times. Yes. <laughs> Camera. Right here. Champagne is real. Cheese He's is real. He's been drinking. He's real. been drinking. All right, Brenda. I, Brenda. I can't <laughs> Brenda. I'll, I'll take it. I've I'll been drinking. It. I've been drinking. Don't edit that. Please I'll don't cut that. I'll change my name to Brenda in a minute. <laughs> I'm Roma. If it means I have that restaurant. All right. All right. Please don't cut that. All right. I'm off track. Okay. BB. Okay. BB, BB, BB. If you if you really want some great soul food where you're actually feeding the soul with the food, Brenda's nice. is the place to go. And Ryan? If you're not eating bread, this is the place you'll cheat on it with. <laughs> Trust me on that one. This All is right, not infidelity, Roma. this is goodness. <laughs> no diet restrictions, just go and get in there and enjoy that delicious New Orleans flavor. Do it. All right, if you would like to try Brenda's French Soul Food, it's on Polk Street at Eddy in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-345-8100. It's open every day for breakfast and lunch with dinner Wednesday through Sunday. Reservations are not accepted, and the average tab without drinks is around $20. Right, Brenda? Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> All right, I have to thank my amazing guests, my amazing guests on this week's show. Yeah. The best. Sister Roma's third generation spot, serving up big portions of home style Italian dishes at Rocco's Cafe in San Francisco. And Ryan Scott, whose new American classically influenced restaurant with nightly specials at Maybach's in the Marina in San Francisco. And BB Sweetbriar, whose Creole taste led us to Brenda's French Soul Food, also mm. in San San Francisco. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Chuck Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco and I'll see you then and we'll replace the cheese. No, the oh, cheese no, no. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. So now it's your turn. We want to hear from you if you visited any of our Chuck Please restaurants. You can post a selfie on Instagram, join the conversation on Facebook, and tweet us anytime. And don't forget to visit our website. All the shows are there, along with my wine videos and notes about the wines we drink on set. You'll also find our fun new web series, Taste This, where we celebrate food and drinks around the Bay. Cheers. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. IRG has thousands of surfaces in stock now. Surfaces. Selection. Service. IRG at MarbleCompany.com. Total Wine and More offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine and More now with seven Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Sutter Health CPMC, the new Mission Bernal Hospital, opens August 2018 with all private rooms and comprehensive maternity services. CPMC2020.org. Redwood Credit Union, community banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Business and personal, online and mobile, plus nationwide ATMs. Banking for people who call this place home.